out here at the garden waiting for this main event. So let's meet both main event fighters now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for the moment you've all been waiting for your main event of the evening. Please welcome on his way to the ring at this time from the blue corner, Javier Mora. late substitute and Shawnee talked about earlier the fact that this is a tremendous opportunity and that's the key we'll see does he take this saying hey I'm just grateful to get this shot or am I going to have the attitude to really do something about it and absolutely upset everybody's hunch well he calls himself the monster in the ring he started boxing at 12 going to counseling for a gang that he was in he brought him brought him up boxing and he said i'll give it a try went 23 and 9 as an amateur and won the 98 u.s nationals under 19 lost to dominic glenn later in his career uh, he's a young man that really knows the opportunity knows the chances but he comes in at 256 and three quarter pounds uh, that could make him a difficult guy to discourage but let's meet him now officially with bob alexander now making his way to the ring from the red corner, please welcome Sultan Ibrahimov. Sultan Ibrahimov ranked in the top five is, uh, in three of the major sanctioning bodies, so he is absolutely in line. In a holding pattern for that title fight now, but again, in a fight he can't afford to not look good in, can't afford to blow, or that title shot could go up in smoke. He eventually wants to fight Briggs, and no doubt about it, one day he will, but you can't get ahead of yourself, Sean. Oh, yeah, he can't look forward, but... He is celebrating his birthday the day before yesterday. He uh, had a birthday. He says, tonight I want a birthday present of a victory over Javier Mora. Psychologically let down by not ch fighting Shannon Briggs, but it gives him a chance, an opportunity in this fight against Javier Mora to try out his new style. He talked about the new style in the open, more boxing from him, more maneuvering, uh, more jabs, and taking a look at the total picture. Ladies and gentlemen, from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, our next bout of the evening is presented by Seminole Warriors Boxing Promotions and Golden Boy Promotions in association with Goose and Tudor Promotions and Gotham Boxing. This bout is brought to you by Nafta Mosca, Golden Grain Promotions, Global Advertising Strategies, and the Seminole Tribe of Florida. This is your main event of the evening, 10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Your judges scoring this bout at ringside are Tommy Kazmarek, Ron McNair, and John McKay. When the bell rings, your referee in charge is Mike Ortega. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the silver trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at 257 pounds. His professional record, 21 wins, three losses, one draw, including 17 wins by way of knockout. He comes from Anaheim, California. Here is Javier El Monsturo Mora. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at 221 pounds. A silver medalist at the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia. As a professional, he is undefeated. 19 wins, no losses, one draw, with 16 wins by way of knockout. 
from Rostov on Don, Russia, ranked number one in the world as a heavyweight by the WBO. Here is Sultan Ibrahimov. Ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Referee Michael Ortega calls the fighters in. What well, more already looks ready. And shape will be a rules. question. I want to go to you know, fight. Looks fit. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touching up. Good luck to both of you. As we look tail of the tape, Mora, the younger guy, Ibragamov got the later start. Ibragamov with a perfect record. Mora again. Coming off, well, we haven't mentioned it, coming off a win in December, so he's been more active recently. As he stayed in the gym and been in shape, he will be coming forward, looping left hands. Not a good thing for. Oh, he's down already as Abramov let him walk into a shot, and he is on Dream Street, literally trying to get his legs back under him, but he's in trouble. Let's see what Abramov does. Big to make this a, to, to pull the plug right now. Body shots. Head. That left hand is rolling now. If Raganoff not ahead of himself as he lets his hands go. He's really moving. Body head again, once again, picking shots. And more is it's over. But it's over. Nothing coming back. You talk about a punctuation mark. This is an exclamation point for Sultan Ibragimov. Boy, a guy with the name Sultan, you know, commands respect, and he went out there and he grabbed this fight by the throat, Sean. He got respect tonight, coming in the ring. He didn't know what to expect. He's talking about the new style, the new trainer, the new the new Sultan, and we saw it tonight. People want to see, people want to see knockouts. They want to see heavyweights knock people out, and that's what they got here. Uh, you know, we can't even get into it. Sultan Ibragimov had to get up off the canvas for the first time in his career in his last fight, a draw against Ray Austin, only blemish on the record. It tells you how much he wanted to absolutely erase that and stay in the mix for a title shot. Well, he did it tonight. We talked about Javier Mora, and was he in shape? He never knew what hit him here. We were talking in the last fight about the American trainers. That's what they've done with Sultan. Uh, Javier Moore looks like he's okay. He's responding to questions, but he was wondering right now if anybody got the license number of the truck that ran over him. What a huge, oh, the right hook pressure. is the first punch that did the damage. And then uh, just cleaning up Sultan Ibragimov. Well, let's watch the, the whole fight in. here because uh, he came out and he absolutely jumped him. It looked like Mora trying to bull rush him here, walking into shots. Right there. And walking into his own right hook. So, so basically, Ibragimov caught him leaning beautifully as he tried to overcommit, and he nailed him when he was reaching. And look at how much trouble he's in now. Yeah, he looks at Mike Ortega, but Ibragimov now measures him just beats him up to the body, goes to the head, just punishing with that left hand as he turns that punch up, gets full leverage, turns it over. All his shots are landing, and Mora fighting for his survival here, trying to pick off the shot. That left hand, a crushing blow, and the right was all that Ortega had to see, that cleanup right hand from Sultan Ibragimov. What a defining moment for him as it's over inside of one. Bob Alexander will make this explosive finish official. Ladies and gentlemen, from Madison Square Garden, referee Mike Ortega stops this bout at 46 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO, Sultan Ibragimov. Oh yeah, no doubt about that. He's 20 and 0 now. And very much in line. How could he have done anything to damage his chances as he will lie in wait now and stay in the gym with his new trainer, Jeff Mayweather. And here we see the knockdown coming. You see how Mora walked right into that shot and how 
that Bragamoff just took that little half step back, perhaps, to create enough punching room. So he was in complete control of the zone of this fight, the range, the pace, as Mora tried to force it, and Bragamoff let him come to him gladly and absolutely punished him. And here we see again, after Mora gets up, nothing coming back as he's taking shots, trying to survive, trying to get out of this first round. But again, this is what Ortega, the referee, is looking at. Was anything coming back in response from Javier Mora? And when nothing was, the damage was done. Our Sean O'Grady is with the winner now. All right, way to go, Sultan. Right after him in the first round. Very exciting. What did you see? When I feel it, like I was like coming, I feel first, first round. I feel when I punch the left hand, left uppercut. I feel a little bit. He go to out. Then I thought that was my chance. I you take, I take very, my chance. You looked very strong. When he came after you, was that his problem? No, I, I move ready, ready for 10 rounds because that guy is a very strong guy. I saw his fights. He never been knocked out. He's a very strong, big guy. He go to but, every round for go straight. I will be ready for 10 rounds. Is I take my chance, stop and fight the first round. Now this is the new style that you told me today. You were boxing more. I saw a lot of punching, not boxing in there. What's different about you now? By the first round, I was, I was boxing. He came in for fight. I just uh, try my style. Just try my, st my style because I want boxing. Yeah. But, but uh, he coming for fight, he coming for fight, he go to straight. I straight him for left hand, then I, I see I'm going to stop fight because that's what my chance. What, what kind of message does this send now, Sultan, to the other heavyweights out there, including Shannon Briggs? I hope, I, I told in the press conference, I hope I saw him in the, on the ring. He very talked too much. I want, I want to, I'm very hungry for this fight. I want to saw him in, on the ring. Then you'll see. Well, is that a fight that uh, maybe right around the corner for this man, Boris Bjornberg, will tell me, do you think you can get Shannon Briggs to a fight with him, or who else do you want? Uh, anybody. We want anybody. We have to fight Klitschko. We have to fight everybody. But first of all, he has to finish with Shannon Briggs. Shannon Briggs running, but he's not hiding, like everybody said. I'm sure next fight have to be with Shannon Briggs, because it's championship fight. If he not go, we go to somebody else. We have a lot of fighter here. Well, it should have been tonight, but where do you go from here? What's your next fight? I told, I tell uh, again, I hope so fight championship fight WBO. For my June, July, when he will be ready, Sean Briggs, i ready Maybe for... April now. After this fight, maybe April the fight is... Oh, <laughs> hey, how about giving us a little bit of Russian? Say hello to your Russian fans there into that TV camera. And tell them how excited this, this fight was for you. Yes. I couldn't have said it better. What'd you say? <laughs> I don't thank you very much. Thank you very much for everybody who support me today. And I hope we see you soon as a championship fight. WBO championship. Yes. He yes. have to be champion WBO this couple months, yes. two, three months. Fantastic. A star is born. Boris Ginberg, thank you very much. Way to go, Sultan. Nice job tonight. Thank Sultan Ibrigamov, he gets the victory. And uh, he gives us a little uh, lesson in Russian. How about that, Nick? Hey, his Russian lasted longer than the fight, I'll tell you. Uh, by the time we try to translate that, it was absolutely clear that Ibragamov was in a mismatch here because he took care of Javier Mora, a guy who took the fight on relatively short notice. But once again, to assess his performance, Sean, what you said earlier, this is a guy who did what this sport sorely needs. He won explosively. Why wait? He did all the right things against Mora. How can you assess a performance that was over inside of two minutes? Not a thing to criticize here as he let Mora come to him and watch, kept his composure. And that, that left uppercut, that sort of hybrid, it was really an uppercut there, is what did the damage. Mora never really recovered. Because here we see both fists flying here. 
And, you know, we're talking free shots, of course, but very fast hands, hard punches, good movement, able to not get ahead of himself. Ibragimov had it all his way, but he created that by, again, seizing the momentum as soon as, well, really taking it away from Mora, who tried to do that himself. So Sultan Ibragimov moves to 20-0 right now and waits in line for that title shot he feels he has clearly earned. Certainly based on this performance, it's hard to argue that many heavyweights will want to reckon with him. A blowout first round victory for Sultan Abragamov. For Sean O'Grady, this is Nick Charles saying thanks everybody for joining us from Madison Square Garden in New York. We'll see you again next time.